Here beginneth the miller his tale. Willem there was dwelling at Oxen Ford, a rich knoff that guests healed to board, and of his craft he was a carpenter. With him there was dwelling a poor scholar, had a learned art, but all his fantasy was turned for to learn astrology, and could ascertain of conclusions to them and by interrogations, if that men asked him in certain hours, what then the men should have wrought or else shures, or if men asked him what should befall, of everything I may not reckon him at all. This clerk was clept Hendy Nicholas, of dear and love he could and of solace, and though though he was slay and full privy, and like a maiden meek for to see, a chamber had a he in the hostelry, alone without a many companion. Full fetishly ye did with herbs sweet, and he himself as sweet as is the root of licorice or any sitwal. His alma guest and books great and small, his astral be longing for his art, his augurim stones laying fair apart, on shelves couched at his bed is hid, his pressy covered with a felding reed, and all above there lay a gay sortry, of which he made a knight's melody, so sweetly that all the chamber rung. Angelus at Virginum he sung, and after that he sung the king's newt, full often blessed with his meary throat, and thus this sweet clerk his time spent, after his friend's finding and his rent. This carpenter had knew a wife, which that he loved more than his life, of eighteen years she was of age. Jealous he was, and healed her near a in a cage. For she was wild and young, and he was old, And deemed himself being like cockled. He knew not Kautun, for his wit was rude, That bad man should wedder his similitude. Men should wedden after here is stat, For youth and elder is often at debat, but sith that he had fallen in the snare, her most endure as other folk his care. Fair was this young wife, and therewithal, as any weasel her body gent and small, a saint she verde, barred all of silk, a balm cloth as white as morning milk. Upon her lendies, full of many a gore, Wit were her smock and broidenal before, and eke behind on her collar a boot of coal black silt within an eke without. The tapes of her white volley pair were of the same suit of her colour, her fillet brood of silk and set full high, and sickly she had a licorice yay. Full smile ye pulled with higher brows too, and though were bent and blake as any slew, she was full more blissful one to see than in the new perage on that tree. And softer than the wall is ever weather, and by her girdle hing a purse of leather, tasselled with silk and pearled with latoon, in all this world to seek an open dune. There is no man so wist that could tench, so gay a proper lot or switch a wench. Full brighter was the shining of her hue than in the tour the noble ye forged knew. But of her song it was as loud and yearn as any swallow sitting on a bairn, though till she could skip to make game 
as any Clyde or calf following his dame. was sweet as braggart or the meath, or hold of apples laid on hay or heath. With singing she was, as is as jolly colt, long as a mass and upright as a bolt. A brute she barred upon his lower collar, as brood as if the booze of a boccola. Her shoes were laced on her legs high. She was a pimerel, a piggin's eye. For any lord to leggin in his bedder, or yet for any good ye man to wed. Now sire and eft sire so biffle the cass, that on a day this hendy Nicholas, filled with this young wife to rage and play, while that her husband was at Osney, as clerks been full subtil and full quaint, and privily he caught her by the quaint, and said, You wis, but if have my will, for dear and love of thee, leman I spill, and healed here harder by the haunch bones, and said, Leman love me all the tones, or I will die and also God me save. And she sprung as a cult tooth in the trave, and with her heed she wired fast away, and said, I will not kiss thee by my fay. Why let be, quoth she, let be, Nicholas, or I will cry out harrow and alas. Do why your hand is for your cur to say. This Nicholas gan mercy for to cry, and spack so fair, and proffered him so fast, and she here love him granted at her last, and swoon her oath by St. Thomas of Kent, that she well been in his commandment. One that has she is less as well spe. Mine house bond is so full of jealousy that but ye wite here well and being privy, I woot right well I am not deed, quoth she. Ye most ye being full dean as in the cass. Nay thereof care thee not, quoth Nicholas. A clerk had a lithely bisit like bisit his while, but if he could a carpenter beguile. And thus they been accorded, and ye sworn, to wait a time, as have told before. One Nicholas had doomed thus every deal, and thacked hereabout the lendis wheel, he kissed here sweet, and taketh his swatry, and playeth fast, and maketh melody. Than fill it thus, that to the parish church, Christi Zoene works forward to urge. This good wife went on a holiday, his forehead shone as bright as any day. So was it wassin, when she lead her work. Now was there of that church a parish clerk. The witch that was, ye clept Absalon. Cruel was his here, and as the gold it shone. And strouted as a fanny, large and broad, Full straight and even lay his jolly showed. His road was reed, his eyes grey as goose with Pooley's window coven on his shoes. In hoses red he went fetishly, ye clad he was full small and properly, all in a kirtle of a light waggot, full fair and thick being the pointer set. And thereupon he had a gay surplice, as wit as it is the blossom upon the race, a merry child he was, so God save me, well could he latin blood and clip and shave and making a charter of Lond or acquaintance. In twenty manner young Calder he tip and dance, after the skull of Oxenford though, and with his legs casting to and fro, and playing songs on a small rubible. Thurto he sung some time and loud and quainable.
and as well could he play on a guitarin in all the town has Brewhouse knee tavern that he nay visited with his solace there any gala tapestry was but sooth to sayn he was some deal squamous of farting and of speech dangerous this Absalom that Jodif was and gay gooth with a censer on that holiday sensing the wives of the parish fast and many a lovely look on him cast the namely of this carpenter's wife to look on higher him through a merry life so she was proper and sweet and liquorous I dare well and say she had a been a muss and I the cat he would a higher hint and anon this parish clerk this jolly Absalom hath in his heart such a love longing that no uh, that of no wife took he none offering for courtesy he said he, he would in noon the moon one in was night full bright and shoon and Absalom his guitar hath ye take for paramours he thought for to wake and forth he goeth jolly and amorous till he come to the carpenter's house and little after cox had he a crown and dressed him up by a shout window That was upon the carpenter's wall. He singeth in his voice gentle and small. Now, dear lady, if thy will be, I pray yow and ye will re on me. Full well accordant to his guiternage, the carpenter awoke and heard him sing, and spake unto his wife and said anon, What, Alison, hearst thou nast Absalom, that shouteth thus under our border's wall? And she answered her husband therewithal, Yes, good wood, John, I hear it every deal. This passive thoughts, what will ye bet than weal? For a day to day this jolly Absalom so woweth higher that him with no we gone. He waketh all the night and all the day. He kembeth his locks broad and made him gay. He woweth higher by means and brockage, and swore he would be in hero in a page. He singeth brockenage as of the nightingale. He sent her payment meath and spiced ale, and wafers piping hoot out of the gleed, and for she was of town he proffered mead. For some folk well being woman of riches, and some for strokes, and some for gentilissi. Some time to shew his likeness and maestry, he playeth Herodes upon a scaffold high. But what availeth him as in the cass? She loved so this hendy Nicholas. But Absalom may blow the bucket's horn, he ne had it for his labour but a scorn, and thus she maketh Absalom her ape, and as this in trust till a jape, full sooth is the proverb, it is no lie, men seen right thus, I'll weigh the nice lie, make if the fair leave to be loath. For though that Absalom be wood or ruth, by cause that her fair was far from her sight, this nigh Nicholas stood in his light. Now bear thee well, thou hendy Nicholas, for Absalom may willy. Now bear thee well, thou hendy Nicholas, for Absalom may wail and sing, alas. And so befell it on a Saturday, this carpenter was gone till Ossane. And hendy Nicholas and Alison accorded being to this conclusion, that Nicholas shall shape in him a while this saily, jealous housebound to beguile. And if so be the game went aright, she should slip in his arm a little night. For this was his desire, and her also. And right anon without word as mo, this Nicholas no longer well did tarry, but doothful softly unto his chamber carry, both the mete and drinky for day or twy, and to hire house bond mad, ma, and to hire house bond bad hire for to say, 
if that he axed after Nicholas, she should say she nest where he was. Of all that day she laugh him not with yea, she throwed and he she trowed and he was in malad yea. For for no cry he made could him call, he no the answer for thing that mighty fool. This passeth forth as like a Saturday, that Nicholas still in his chamber lay, and eat and sleep, and died what him lest, till Sunday that the sun he gunneth to rest. This silly carpenter had greet me well, of Nicholas of what thing might him ail, and said, I am a drad by Saint Thomas, it stoneth not all right with Nicholas. God shield that he did it suddenly, this well is now full tickle circly. I saw today a cause he spawned to church, that now on Monday last I saw him watch. Go up, quote he, unto his knave at noon, clip at his door, or knock with a stoon, look how it is, and tell me boldly. This knave goeth him up full sturdily, and at the chamber door will that he stood, he cried and knocked, as there he that he were wood. What, how, what do ye, Maister Nicolai? How many ye sleepin' all the longer die? But all for naught he heard not a word, and hold he fooned full low upon a board. There as the cat was wanting for to creep, and at the hole he looked in full deep, and at the last he had of him a sight, this Nicholas sat ever copying all right. As he had a kite on the new moon, a doon he goeth and told his master soon. In what array he saw this ilk man. This carpenter to bless in him began, and said, Help us, Saint Frestweyand. A man would little that him shall blight tide. This man is folly and his astromy, in some woodness or in some agony. I thought I well how that it should be. Men should not know of goddess privately. Ye blessed be alway a lewd man that naught but only his belief can. So furry another clerk with astronomy, he walked in the fields for to pray upon the stairs what there should befall, till he was in Marley Pit ye fall. He saw not that, but yet by St. Thomas, me and you have saw of Hendy Nicholas. He shall be rated of his studying, if that I may, Jesus heavenly king, get me a staff that I may up the spore, wilt that thou, Robin, have us up the door? We shall have out his studying, as I guess. And to the chamber door he gan him dress. His knave was a strong carl for the nuns, and by the shape he hath it of a tones. Into the floor the door filled anon. This Nicholas sat I as still as stone, and ever carved upward into the air. This carpenter when they were in despair, and hente him by the shoulders mightily, and shook him hardy, and cried spitiously, What, Nicolai, what, how, what, look a doon, a whack and thank on Christ his passion. I crouch thee from elves and fro whites, there with the night spell say that he on on writes, O oh, for halves of the house about, and on the threshold of the door without, Jesus Christ and Saint Benedict, bless this house from every wicked wit, for nights vary the white part a monster, where wedst thou St. Peter's suster? And at it last this Hindi Nicholas gan for to silk sore and said, Alas, shall all the world be lost if stoos now? This carpenter answered, What sayst thou? What, thank on God, as we do, men that swink? This Nicholas answered, Fetch me my drink, and after I wall I spoke in privately of certain thing that toucheth me and thee. I will tell it no other man certainly. This carpenter goeth down and cometh again, and brought of almighty ale of large quart, 
and one that each of him had drunk his part, this Nicholas his door fast shut, and down the carpenter by him he set. He said, John, mine host, leaf and dear, thou shalt upon thy troth swear me here, that to no wight thou shalt this counsel ray, for it is Christie's counsel that I say, and if thou tell me it, man, thou art for law, for this vengeance thou shalt hand therefore, that if thou wrang me, thou shalt be wood, nay, Christ forbade it, for holy blood, quoth though this silly man, I am no labe, nay, though I say, I am not leave to gabby, say what thou would, I shall it never tell, to my child new wife, by him that hoard hell. Now, John, quoth Nicholas, I will not lie, I have you found in mine astrology, as I have looked in the moon bright, that now a Monday next at quarter night shall fall a rain, and that so wheeled and wood that half so great was never Noah's flood. This world, he said, is less than an hour, shall all be dryant so hideous in the shower, and thus mankind drench and less her life. This carpenter answered, Alas, my wife, and shall she drench eh? Alas, my Alice soon, for sore eh, of his fill almost a doon and said, Is there no remedy in this case? Why, yes, for God, quoth Henry Nicholas. If thou wilt worken after lure and read, thou mayest not worken after thine own heed. For thus saith Solomon, that there was full true, Work all by counsel, and thou shalt not rue. And if thou worken, wilt by good counsel, I undertake without mast and sail, Yet shall I save and hear, and thee and me, hast thou not heard how saved was Noah? When that our Lord had a warned him before, that all the world with water should be lorn. Yes, quoth the carpenter, full year ago. Hast thou not heard, quoth Nicholas, also the story of Noah with his foul sheep? Ere that he might to get his wife to sheep, him had a be lever a dal were undertake, a thick time and alley weather as blake that she had a ship herself a loon, and therefore wouldst thou best to doon. This asketh haste, and has the thing, men may not preach or make and tarrying. Anon go get her as fast into this, a chlendi trough or else a climbing in, for each of us both, but look that they might be large, in which we mouse swim as in a barge, and hand therein vitally sufficient, but for a day, for on the remnant, the water shall a slake and goon away about premi until the next day. But Robin may not write in this thy knave, ne eke thy maid a gill I may not save. Ax not why, for thou ask a me, I will not tell in goddess's privacy. Sufficeth to say, but this thy witness mad, to Han as greet a grace as Noah had. Thy wife shall I well saven out of doubt. Go now thy way and speed there hereabout. But one thou hast for hire and thee and me, ye get us his kinding jobs three. Than shalt thou hang him in the roof and full of high, that no man of a purveyance is spy. And what thou thus hast doon, as I have said, and housed our vitali fair in helm ye led, and eke an axe to smite the cord at two, what that the weather cometh, what may me go, and break an hole and hay upon the gable unto the garden ward over the stable, that we may freely pass and forth our way, one that the greater sure is gone away. Than shall to swim, as many I undertake, as doth the white doke their higher drake. Than will I clep, how Alison, how John, be merry the flood will pass anon, and thou wilt say, Heil, Master Nicolai, 
good morrow I see thee well, for it is die, and then I shall be lords as our life, and all of the world as Noah and his wife. But of a thing I warn thee full right, be well advised on that ilk night, that when we bend into ship's board, that none of us ne speak not a word, ne clip ne cry, but be in his prayer, for it is God's owneth, his day dear. Thy wife and thou moot hang for a twine, and for the betwixt ye shall be no sign, na more in looking than there shall indeed, this ordinance is said, go God thee speed. Tomorrow at night, when man be all asleep, into our netting tubs while we will creep, and sit in there abiding God's graces. Now go thy way, I have no longer space, to make at this no longer sermoning. Men saying thus, Sain the wise, and say no thing. Thou art so wise, it needeth not teach. Go save your life, and that I thee beseech. For Sally the carpenter got forth his way, Full oft he said, alas, and wail away. And to his wife he told his privity, That she was war, and knew it better than he. What all's his quaint, cast was for to say, But nathless she fared as she would day and said, Alas, go forth they way anon, help us to escape, or we have been dead a con. I am the true, very wedded wife, go, dear spouse, and help save our life. Lo, with a great thing is affection, men may die in of the imagination, so deep may impression be take. This surly carpenter beginneth quake, him thinketh verily that he may see, Noah's flood come welling as the sea. To drench in Alice soon his honey dear. He weepeth, waileth, maketh sorry cheer. He sicketh with full many a sorry swell. He gooth and getteth him a nading trowel, and after that a tub and a cremelen, and privily he sent him to his inn. And hang him in the roof in privity, his own hand he made larger as three, to climb in by the wrongs and other stalks, unto the tubs hanging in the bulks and hem vitilailed, voth, voth and tub, with breed and chess and good ale in jubble. Sufficing right ye nong as for a day, but ere that he had made it all this array, he sent his knave and eke his wench also upon his knee to London for to go, and on the Monday, when it drow to night, he shed his door without candle light, and dressed all thing as it should be, and shortly up they clomb on all three. They set and still, well a furlong way. Now Peter Noster Clom, said Nicolay, and Clom, quoth John, and Clom, said Nicolay. Said Alison, this carpenter said his devotion, and still he sit and biddeth his prayer, awaiting on the rain as if it dare. The deed sleep for weary business, fill on the carpenter right as I guess. About cough you time for a little more, for travail of his ghost he groaneth sore. And eft he rooter for his heed mislay, Down in the ladder stalketh Nicolay, And Alison full soft daradoon she sped, Without words more they goon to bed, There as the carpenter is wont to lie, There was the revel and the melody, And thus lith Alison and Nicholas, In busyness of mirth and solace, Till that the bell of lords gan to ring, And frays in the chancel gone sting, this parish clerk, this amorous Absalon, that his love for her always swoe begun, upon the Monday was at Ossene, with company him to deport and play, and axed upon Casa Cloisterer, full privily after John the carpenter, and he drove him apart out of the church, and said, I not, I saw him here, not watch, since Saturday, I trow that he went, for timber that hour about to half him sent, for he is wont for timber for to go, and dwellin' at the grange a day or two. 
or else he is at the house certain. Where that be be, I cannot suitly say. This Absalom full jolly was the night, and thought, now is time to wake all night. For sickly I saw him, not strange, about his door, sin day begun to springe. So moot I thrive, I shall at cocks crow, full privily knocking on his window, but staunt full low upon his boar's wall. To Alison now I will tell an all, my love longing for yet I shall not miss, that as the least way I shall hire a kiss. For some manner comfort shall I have parfait, my mouth hath itched at this longer day. That is a scene of kissing at least, at night me met a eek, I was at a feast. Therefore I will go sleep an hour or twa, and all the night then I wall wake and play. When that was the first cock hath crown anon, our priest this jolly lover Absalon, and him arrayeth gay at Point Davis, and first he cheweth grain and licorice, to smell and sweet, ere he had kept his here, under his tongue a true love he bare, and there by Wendy he band to gracious, he roameth to the carpenter's house. And still he stand on the window shot window, unto his breast it wrought her, it was so low, and soft he cotheth with a seamy sound. What do ye, honeycomb, sweet Alice sound, my fair bird, my sweet cinnamon, awaketh lemon mean, and speaketh to me? Well, little thinking ye upon me woe, that for your love I sweat, there I go. No wonder is thou I am swelt and sweat, I mourn as do the lamb after the teat. You is lemon, I have switched love longing, that like a turtle true in morn I may not eat na more than maid. Go for the window, Jackie fool, she said. As help me God, it will not be compar me. I love another, and ill as I were to blame. Well, bet than thee, ye Jishu Absalon, go forth thy way, or I will cast a stone, and let me sleep a twenty devil way. Alas, quoth Absalon, and well will I, the true love was ever so ye well beset. Than kiss me, sin, it may not bet, for Jesus' love and for the love of me. Will thou than go thy where the wrath, quoth she? Yes, certes lemon, quoth Absalon. Then make thee ready, quoth she, I come anon, and unto Nicholas she said still, Now hust and thou shalt laugh and at thy fill. This Absalom down set him on his knees, and said, I am a lord at all degrees, for after this I hope there cometh more leman, thy grace, and sweet bird thine o'er. The window she undoth, and that in haste, have do, quoth she, come off, and speed the face, lest there art neighbours thee espy. This Absalon gan wipe his mouth full dry, Dirk was the night as pitch or as coal, And as the window out she put her hole, And Absalon him fill no bet when he was, But with his mouth he kissed her naked ears, Full savourly er uh, he were war of his, Aback he stirred and thought it was amiss, For well he wist a woman hath no beard, He felt the thing all rough and long ye heard, And said, Phew, Alas, what have I do? Tee he, quoth she, and clapped thy window to, and Absalom gooth forth a sorry pass. A beard, a beard, quoth Hendin Nicholas, thy goddess corpus, this goth fairy and wheel. This sily Absalom heard every deal, and on his lip he gan for anger bite, and to himself he said, I shall thee quite. Who rubbeth now, who throweth in his lips, with dust, with sound, with straw, with cloth, with chips? But Absalom that sighth full oft, alas, my soul would take it unto Sathanas. But me were liver than all this town, quote he of this desperate or roken for to be. Alas, quote he, alas, I ne had a blit. His hoot love was cooled and old and quiet. For fro that time that he had a kiss her erse, of paramours he set not a curse. For he was healed of his malady, full oft paramours he was gandefi, and weep as do the child that is ye bet. A softy pass we went over the street.
until a smithman clipped down Gervais, that in his forge smithed plough Hanais. He sharpeth shar and cult the blissly, the Absalom knocketh all easily, and said unto Gervais, and that anon, What, who art thou? It am I, Absalom. What, Absalom, for Christ his sweet tree, why rise he so wrath a benedicti? What aileth yow some gay girl, god it woot, have brought thee us now upon this fit root? By saint note ye would well what I mean. This Absalom he wrought not to been, of all his plain a word again he yaff. He had a more tow on his distaff, than Gervais knew and said, Friend so dear, that hoot could tour in the chimney here, as lean it to me I have therewith to do, and I will bargain in thee again full soon. Gervais answered, Certes, were it gold, or in a poke nobles all untold, thou shouldest have, as I am through smythe, I Christie's fool, what will ye do with your thrith? Thereof could Absalom be as may, I shall well tell it three to morrow day, and caught the culture by the cold steel, full softly out of the door he began to steal, and went unto the carpenter's while. He caught the first, and knocketh there withal, upon the window right as did her. This Alison answered, Who is there that knocketh so? I warrant it a thief. Why nay, quoth he, God would my sweet leaf, I am thy and Absalom, my dearling. Of gold, quoth he, I have thee brought a ring. My moody yaff at me, so God save me, full fin it is, and thereto will we grave. This will I leave thee, if thou me kiss. This Nicholas was risen for to piss, and thought he would amend all the jape, he should kiss his er ers, and that he scape. And up the window did he hastily, and out his ears he put privily, over the buttock, over the haunch bon, and there with spack this clerk, this Absalom. Speck, sweet bird, I knew not where thou art, this Nicholas anon lit flay a fart, as great as it had do not thunder dent, that with the stroke he was almost ye blent, and he was ready with his ear and hoot, and Nicholas amid the ears he smoot, of gooth the skein, and handy bread dear boot. The hooth called Tor Brende, so his toot, and for the smirt he went for to die, and he were wound for one bond to cry, Help, water, water, help, for God is hurt, this carpenter out of his slumber stirred, and heard him cry water as he were, and thought, Alas, now, come Noel is flood. He sit him up without words more, and with his axe he smote the cord or two. And down goeth all he found neither to sell, ne breed ne ale till come to the sill, upon the floor, and there all they lay. He stirred here Alison and Nicolay, and cried out, and harrow in the street, the neighbours both small and greet, in rollin for to garren on this man, that yet or swassen lay, both pale and wan. For with the fall he brost and had his arm, but stood and he must unto his own arm. For when he spake, he was a non bordoon with Henry Nicholas and Alice soon. They told in every man that he was wood. He was a gas, so of all his flood. The fantasy that his vanity. He had a brought him knibbling tubs tree, and had him hanged in the roof above, and that he prayed him for God's love, to sit in the roof par compagnie. The folk gone laughing at his fantasy, into the roof they kicking and they cape, and turn all his harm into a jape. For what so was, this carpenter answered, it was for naught no man his reason heard. With others great he was so sworn a doon, that he was hold wood in all the tune. And every clerk and none right held with other, they said, the man is wood, me leave, brother. And every white gan laughing at this strife, Thus swived was this carpenter's wife. For all his keeping and his jealousy, And Absalom had kissed her, never ye, And Nicholas is scolded in the tout. This tale is doon, and God save all the rout.